Uh, okay, thank you. Um, it's my pleasure to uh, share uh, our work on um, building high-performance machine learning library uh, based on Flink. And this is the outline of today's talk. Uh, first, I'd like to show uh, what we have done. Um, the major uh, machine learning algorithm, uh, we have got uh, high performance. I will show the uh, compare result with uh, Spark ML. And uh, furthermore, I will introduce uh, some uh, algorithms of uh, future engineering. In the next section, um, I will focus on the um, technical, technical details uh, to, to introduce how to achieve high performance. Um, we'll start with the k-means algorithms, then the linear um, models, a decision tree, and uh, uh, GBDT. In this section, I also want to like, introduce our accumulated uh, utilities. Um, based on, on these utilities, uh, it can help the algorithm developers uh, easily uh, develop high-performance uh, algorithm on Flink. Uh, the last section is the future work. Uh, currently, uh, we are uh, working with uh, Flink uh, uh, community uh, to contribute, contribute back our implemented uh, algorithms and utilities to Flink ML. Or uh, maybe uh, two or three months later, you can use it, use this algorithm or utility in your application. Uh, hope you enjoy them. Uh, and this is the performance of our uh, major machine learning algorithms. The left column is the category name, uh, regression, <coughs> classification, and the clustering. Uh, the middle column is the detail algorithm name, uh, for example, linear regression or logistic regression. Um, and the right column uh, shows the performance. It's the speed up value compared with the Spark ML. If the value is uh, one, that means uh, we have the same performance with the Spark ML. Uh, the uh, uh, bigger value means the better performance. Uh, and from this figure, uh, we can see there are two algorithms. Uh, uh, we, are, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we get the speed up value less than one, but they are still than 0 0.9. That means uh, they are slow, but are a little slower than the Spark ML. And the other algorithms, uh, they can uh, and they get a better performance than the Spark ML. And uh, many of them have achieved a 50% uh, percent, uh, speed up. Um, uh, feature engineering algorithms uh, is widely used uh, in machine learning application. Uh, we also provide uh, the whole uh, uh, the rich uh, function, functionalities uh, include uh, uh, feature extraction, feature transform, transformation, uh, and the feature selection. Uh, using this algorithm can uh, help the application developer uh, easily build up their, uh, their uh, practice. Uh, okay. Then the next section will start with the key means algorithms. Uh, first, I'll give a short introduction for this algorithm. Uh, initial key is centroids, and then uh, assign each point to the nearest centroid. Then we have the key clusters. For each cluster, we count a new centroid. Uh, then uh, repeat step two and three uh, until converge. And that's the key means algorithm. Uh, there's an implementation in Flink example uh, like this. It has <coughs> defined uh, uh, the type point and uh, uh, also a centroid. And, and this, uh, this is uh, the side point is the uh, training that side. And this is the uh, centroids. Uh, 
And this, uh, this demo had showed uh, how to use the iteration and uh, also introduce uh, the, uh, what is the key means algorithm. Um, um, but uh, for a demo, it's, uh, uh, it's good enough. But uh, for real practice, uh, it has some limitations. Uh, for example, he has a uh, special defined input data type. It uh, only support two dimension double uh, data. But uh, in um, but in practice, uh, we will need uh, more dimension data, and the data may have uh, uh, other type for integer, long, or float. So uh, we prefer use the road type. <coughs> it can su support <coughs> variable size, um, maybe even uh, hundred or thousand uh, dimensionals. Uh, uh, also, it can define each feature's type. Uh, so the, the type row will extend the uh, ex, uh, representation of the input and output. Uh, for example, uh, for a, a real data site, uh, it may be in, <coughs> include an integer, a string, or a double value. This can be uh, um, save, uh, yeah. can be uh, expressed by the row. And uh, the, for the data set row, uh, it uh, has also limitation. The limitation is uh, in machine learning algorithms, so we, we, <coughs> we will need the uh, column name and the column type. Um, but uh, uh, this structure cannot uh, give, give us this information. So we prefer to use a table. Table have the schema, include the name and the type. And also, uh, uh, table API and the SQL also support the table. Then, um, take the table as the machine learning input and output. Uh, we can connect machine learning algorithm with the table API operation and the SQL operation. So it's uh, very easy for user to uh, Build up their full pipeline. Uh, after it's tended the uh, uh, data type, uh, now we'll uh, extend the uh, algorithm's functionality to make it be professional. Uh, first, we'll uh, support the multi distance type. And uh, next, uh, we'll, uh, uh, you know, the the chemist algorithm, the first step is the initial uh, centroids. Uh, and uh, uh, how to select the initial centroid? Um, well, it's very important for the chemist uh, result and the uh, converge speed. And there are some research results for this. And we have implemented this algorithm, make the uh, uh, Send, uh, initial uh, uh, to keep the uh, coverage uh, speed and uh, uh, and keep the uh, to keep to get a, a good uh, clustering result. And also, we need to uh, uh, do some optimization for implementation. Uh, for example, we will reduce the calculation cost, uh, reduce the communication cost. And also, we will uh, minimal synchronization times per iteration. But uh, after this uh, operation, uh, our implementation uh, may be called uh, professional, but uh, they are still 30% slower than the Spark, Spark ML. So we do some uh, uh, experiment, and this figure it's a, a, a worker's uh, uh, IO time cost uh, per, uh, per iteration. We say they, there are some spikes. And we found the reason. is uh, Flink uh, take the training site to the disk. Uh, 
discussability, um, when the iteration needs the uh, training data, they will read from the, the read from the disk uh, in uh, in uh, in a busy cluster. Then um, the disk I/O is very busy, so the I/O speed cannot be guaranteed. So uh, it will take the uh, sorry. It uh, will bring these spikes. To solve this uh, problem, we input a uh, uh, memory level catch, uh, catch the training data in the memory. So we will skip the uh, disk I/O. Okay, um, we this is uh, our in, our interface for the uh, memory level catch. We call it. Uh, uh, um, memory catch the data site. Uh, it's uh, uh, it uh, uh, only need to change three line code. First, uh, call the persistent method uh, to uh, take the original data site to catch the data. Then um, use catch data to do the map partition. Uh, when the loop will close the uh, we need to use this method uh, and persist after uh, release the memory. Uh, after these three lines, we got a huge speed up. Uh, for the Kimmins uh, algorithm, we got uh, two times speed up. And uh, it, uh, <coughs> it also works for the GBDT and uh, uh, logistic regression uh, algorithms. Uh, okay. Uh, the bisecting k-means is the extension of the k-means algorithm. <coughs> um, um, uh, k-means algorithm, uh, each time it will um, cluster in um, k cluster, but the bisecting, uh, each time it only um, cluster uh, two cluster. Um, um, two uh, multi-clustering um, but um, we can um, mm, mm, we can uh, multi-use the bisecting key means, but overall the bisecting key means has a uh, faster speed uh, than the uh, or original key means. Uh, it's very uh, it's still useful in the practice, uh, and uh, for we have uh, a high performance implementation of key means. So uh, we can get a high performance by cycling k-means than the Spark ML. But furthermore, we can still do more improvement. Uh, here is what we have done. Um, the mean calculation in the bisecting k-means is calculate this problem. Um, uh, there's a, uh, two centroid, uh, V1 and uh, V2, and, and for one point x. We need to know uh, x is nearest the centroid is v1 or v2. Normally, uh, we will uh, count, uh, calculate like this: uh, calculate the vector uh, from v1 to x and uh, uh, the vector v2 to x, and uh, just the calculate their distance. It will need two vector subtraction and two dot production. But uh, we can um, calculate in another way. Uh, we will see uh, it as the, uh, take the uh, uh, with, uh, V2 to V1 uh, as the V2 minus V1 as a, a vector V. And uh, we will see the middle point uh, M the so projection, projection to V, and uh, also compare X projection to V. So uh, the first three lines we can pre-compute it. Uh, we only need to uh, calculate uh, this uh, one dot production. So uh, by this method, we can uh, reduce the computation whole huge. So finally, uh, for this algorithm, we can get a more speed up. Uh, it has a 
uh, OK. Uh, next, uh, we will uh, introduce the uh, common use of the linear models. And uh, uh, in this page, uh, you can see many uh, uh, well known algorithms uh, linear regression, uh, logistic regression, linear support vector machine, uh, and softmax uh, lasso regression. And these uh, algorithms uh, can be uh, can have the unified represent representations, which means uh, uh, each uh, uh, algorithm or uh, we can um, configure a uh, loose function and a uh, regularization. Then uh, it will be a a a algorithm. So. Uh, uh, Originally, we will uh, solve, implement uh, several algorithms. Now, convert to one, uh, one problem. We only need to solve this problem, solve the unified representation. If this is solved, uh, then we can easily get this uh, result. So to, to solve this, we have implemented the optimizer. We have uh, implemented uh, provide two uh, optimizer. Uh, one is uh, parallel, the other is uh, local. Mm. Uh, so uh, use the unified representation. They will sim simplify the our uh, 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 algorithm structure and uh, uh, simplify the, the implementation. But uh, we can also get the high performance. Okay, uh, for this uh, uh, for the, uh, this method, the um, and the uh, performance problem is focused on the uh, parallel optimizer. Uh, later, I will take this method, for example, to show how to speed up step by step. Okay, uh, and this is our first version. Um, it has a very low performance. Uh, we have to do something, uh, reduce the broadcast, uh, improve data quality, and avoid the serialization. Uh, it uh, improved later. And uh, we use the memory cache to the set we have introduced before. It get uh, improved. And another, we will take the model, uh, save the model to the memory. So, uh, will reduce the model transformation. Uh, and there we, we get the same performance with Spark ML. Uh, furthermore, uh, we have implement uh, um, transfer, uh, a communication uh, method or reduce. It uh, help us get uh, more performance than Spark ML. The next page, I will uh, introduce the or reduce communication. Uh, reduce uh, its name comes from the MPI's uh, reduce function. Uh, and this figure has to show uh, uh, its functionality. Uh, there are four worker. Each worker has a, uh, has a vector. And uh, uh, we will do such thing, um, sum this vector together and then broadcast them to uh, each to each worker. Uh, uh, this thing is easily be implemented by Flink. Uh, just use with the broadcast set and uh, reduce function. It's easily implemented, but uh, performance is a problem. Uh, this is an illustration of the reduce and broadcast. Uh, we can see uh, task, uh, task zero is very busy. It will reduce and calculate uh, all the vector, and uh, it will uh, broadcast. This is a hot spot. Uh, when the vector has a large, uh, large dimension for uh, minus dimension, uh, the, the performance will drop a lot. 
this is uh, our implementation. We will split the vector to pieces. For example, if we have two tasks, we will split as two pieces. Uh, one is colored by, uh, colored by red and blue. Uh, the data with the red color will reduce to one task. The blue one will reduce to the other one. So uh, we can um, balance the calculation and the communication. And uh, especially for the large scale data set, it will get a uh, uh, high performance. And uh, uh, use this uh, implementation, we uh, finally get a uh, more, uh, better performance uh, than Spark ML. Uh, OK. Uh, for the decision tree and the random forest, we also uh, 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 use the same method. Uh, first, uh, in the imp implementation, we will extract the common part. Uh, uh, and uh, for, from the, this common part, we will extend to the classification and the regressions. Uh, 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 and uh, in the uh, performance, uh, 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 we also use the or reduce the function, and uh, uh, we use the pre-allocation uh, to avoid uh, garbage collection and speed up. We also use the memory cache to improve performance. And for this tree, uh, histogram subtraction is a very uh, useful skill for this algorithm. OK, use this scale, we got 1.4 speed up compared to the Spark ML. OK, for the algorithm GBDT, uh, it has through a, uh, a, long, um, uh, a long steps to get a, for, get a better performance. Uh, include reduced communication cost, uh, reduced synchronized count, uh, and uh, uh, separate uh, dynamic and uh, static data. Uh, uh, also use a memory cache. Uh, also for these uh, GBDT algorithms, the cache locality is very important. Uh, here is the explanation. Uh, for the uh, third set, oops, sorry. For the third set features, uh, actual objects are non contiguous in heap. Uh, as uh, like this, um, but uh, for GPT algorithm, uh, often um, read the data one by one. So, oh, if the data can be contiguous, uh, it will get, get a better performance. So, uh, for this algorithm, we will do this thing to catch locality, to change it to the, uh, for example, to double array. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. And next, uh, I will introduce the, our uh, accumulated utilities. Uh, the first one, optimizer, is for the linear models we have, I have introduced. Uh, uh, the next one is the memory cache that the sites and the all reduce uh, uh, we have introduced in the pre, uh, pre slides, and we also. Uh, 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 implement the uh, linear algebra based on the blast and the breeze. Uh, and uh, uh, we implement uh, um, parallel sort and uh, statistics. Uh, for the parallel sort, uh, there are uh, many algorithms uh, can, based on the parallel sort result, uh, get uh, easy implementation. And the question is how to oh, um, get the parallel sort with high performance. Here uh, uh, is uh, our use of the method to, to try to reduce the data uh, uh, spool. Uh, and uh, uh, the next one is the uh, statistic. Uh, there, are, there are some more algorithms. Uh, can uh, actually based on the statistical result. So we can 
uh, take the statistic as the uh, uh, as the middle function. We use the uh, this we call uh, this function get the uh, the temper state model. So based on this, we can get easily in implementation. Unfortunately, in this short session, we're very we're a little bit over time. Uh, but uh, if it's okay, people can ask you some questions afterwards. Uh, okay, maybe one slide. Uh, the, uh, the next session we have in four uh, minutes is understood. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> you can do your last slide here. Okay, uh, the uh, get a quick uh, summary. Summary is uh, we use a table uh, as the input and the output uh, algorithm, and we support uh, a pipeline. And uh, the next uh, is. Uh, uh, we are contributed back to Flink ML, and uh, 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 we will also research and develop more algorithms. Uh, okay, that's all. Thank you. Great, thank you very much, Shu.